Aloha Cousins Briar 626 here, and today we are opening up for a part two of this booster box opening here. We already did part one, so go ahead and click that card right there to see part one. We opened up some pretty good stuff there, um, and that was just the first six packs. So today we're going to open up the next six packs here, so we're going to go through and pick up the next six packs, and we're going to get into there and see what cool stuff we can pull. So, I'll see you guys just in a second. So we are here, of course, we got to pick our, our six packs. Um, of course, there's three different artworks, so we're going to pick two of each artwork. We're going to pick up the first one, which is Anilius. There we go. We're going to stick that to this side there. And we got our six packs here. Um, there's our six packs. Boom, boom, and boom. So let's go ahead and open them up here. We got the first one, which is a Hydorus one. Um, I'm hoping... To pull a, of course, I said this the last one, but a Dan Kuso, uh, Bahugan Elite, or a Titan Dragonoid. If I can pull both of those, that would be awesome. If not, I'd at least like to have the uh, Dan Kuso over the Titan Dragonoid, to be honest with you. Um, let's go ahead and put those to the side here. I'm trying to turn them around so I don't see the, if what the cards are in the back. I want to keep it a surprise. Um, so, yeah. So, Laser Claw. Then we have Oaken Shield. Um, Paralyzing Potion. Uh, then we have Pyrus Strike. And we have Pyrus, Dom Pyrus Dominance. Uh, Sifting Ashes. Then we have our Rare, which is Barbara Cuso. Um, of course, we have already got we got Bill Cuso in the last one, so now we got Barbara. So we already got two of them now. So let's go ahead and see what the next one is. Next Rare is a Hyper Hydorus. Um, so for three energies, four hundred B power. 9 damage, evolve it off of the um, darkest uh, high doors there. And then if you land on the green fist, plus 600 B power. And then our next card is a super rare um, Curran. Uh, for 2 energies, when you play a flip card, you may draw a card. Um, we haven't seen this one before, so this is really cool. We got that card. Alrighty. And that's our super rare. And our next one is a rare Bahugana, uh, Bahugana Hex here. That is Hyper Pegatrix. For 4 energies, uh, 900 B power. 3 damage, evolve it off of the Aquas Pegatrix, and then you get, of course, if you land on the uh, Orange Shield, plus 4 energy power, and then plus 8 damage. We just pulled the rare version of this, so getting the Hex version, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and stick that in the back here. Um, so that we got some pretty decent stuff there. Um, let's go put up next, the next one here, which is our Nilius one, and throw that to the side, and open up that, put that down there, turn it around, because I like I said, I don't want to see any of the cards yet. I want to keep everything a surprise, um, so yeah. Uh, so Curran, though, he doesn't seem like a bad card. For two energies, though, that's not bad. Um, and for a Darkest, that's, a, that's not bad at all. Of course, you can see that glare right there. I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be covered up here just in a second. All right, so we have our next card is Thunder Sword, Whiteout, Cycling Warmth, Inspire. This is a good Aquas card to have. Um, Liquid Strike. Then we have a uh, fierce boost. Our rare is reflection rays uh, for one energies plus one frost to, for each of your chaos bakugan um, on your team. So that's not too bad. Our next rare is a uh, heroic impression um, for two energies. Um, draw a card for each hero in your play. Um, that's not too bad. So that will work definitely with the um, what is it? Leah Vegas card that we got, um, which is really cool. And then our next card is a Bahugan Elite, another one already, second pack. We got Maximus Hydorus Ultra for seven energies, 1,000 B power, uh, eight damage. Of course, you have to evolve it off of the Hydorus Ultra Chaos. And then Victor, shuffle three cards from your discard power into your deck. Oh my goodness, this is our second Bahugan Elite already into the second pack. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I have to say, if you guys haven't guessed, I want to say the Nilius packs are like the best packs. Because the one before it, I pulled a Bahugan Elite and it was in a Nilius pack. Um, that, that is absolutely crazy. Um, so, 
you find Nelly's packs, I would recommend buying those because those are the ones that probably have a lot of the good stuff in it. And I may be wrong, but from like the past openings I've had, I think it's all Nelly's packs that have opened uh, all the Bahugan elites. So you might want to keep an eye out for those Nilius packs that they have there. So yeah, so that is our Bahugan Elite. We're going to stick that one in the back here. And our next card is Marco for three energies. Uh, and then Fury, if you have no cards in your hand, plus five damage to your attacks. Um, this is this is okay if you if you have a lot of, if your deck like does a lot of emptying cards out of their hand this is not bad and of course that is a, actually a super rare so that's actually pretty cool we've got a super rare one so that's pretty good I'm um, going to put that one in the back we're gonna open our next one here which is a Drago one um, go ahead and open it up and throw that to the side throw it here open that turn it around and throw that to the side and let's see here. Get that opened. Maybe. Maybe not. Eh. Eh. Come on. This one's a tough one. I don't want to damage the cards, so I'm like trying to open it really carefully. There we go. Alright, turn that around now. Now we have Cycling Warmth, Sifting Ashes, Fierce Boost, uh, Luminescent Armor. Luminescent. There's no S. It's Luminous Armor or whatever it is. Um, cycling thoughts. Um, then we have our Holt Outsiders. For our rare, we have rare. Um, we have Titan Dragonoid for six energies, um, 1200 B power, and then six damage. So he's a little high cost for uh, for the Aquas Dragonoid, but not too bad though. It's pretty cool. Um, then we have the next rare is Hypertrox for two energies, 600 B power, uh, two damage, and then Victor plus two energies if you win. Um, our super rare is Cindy's Stand. Uh, of course, we just pulled this from the last one. Uh, but for two energies, shuffle any number of cards from your hand into the deck, and then plus one damage for each card shuffled. So that's not too bad. Um, like I said before, it's not a bad card. And our next card is Cease Outsiders. Oh, we got a Hex version of Cease Outsiders. Of course, for three energies, stop a non-darkest Bahugan. Even though this is a common, uh, getting it in a Hex form, these Outsider cards, you do want to get uh, in a Hex form just because they are shiny, of course, as you can tell. Um, they look really nice, and this is going to kind of bling out your deck. So those are really good cards to grab um, if you want them in the uh, in the Hex form. All right, so go back to a Hydorus pack now. Um, get that out there. Um, I will be probably putting that one in my deck because I use the darkest Aquas and Pyrus card, so that would be good. Uh, good card to put in there to give it the, the nice look shiny. All right, let's go ahead and get this one open here, and there we go. Oh, maybe almost had it. Thought I had it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and tap that. All right, here we go. So we have Curse of Darkest. Um, this is actually a really good card for two energies. Um, two minus two damage, or if you discard a card, you minus ten damage off of your opponent. So that's that could save you quite a bit there. Um, then we have cycling madness, and then we have thunder sword, dark boost, um, white out again. Then we have cycling warmth. We get in a lot of these cycling warmths here, and then we get a rare hyper hydorus uh, for three energies, four hundred B power, nine damage, and then land on green fist plus six hundred B power. Then our next rare is D. Your Bahugan has one frost. Um, and he's for four energies. So this is actually really cool. So um, is that a guy or a girl? That is a girl. Okay, sorry. I had to look at it there. It is a girl. Um, but yeah, so that's actually really cool. Um, I mean, I, I don't know how great it's going to work. But it's not bad getting that one frost at least. Um, getting Basically making a, your opponent always have to cost your flip cards to cost them one more uh, for each frost that you have. Um, so like that cease outsiders in the back is a cost of three. It would make it four if your opponent, if you had this or well, make your opponent have it. If your opponent had this, whatever you basically, your opponent gets one plus uh, on their flip cards. So yeah. And then our next card is a awesome rare shun, uh, Kazami, I guess I, Kazami, Kazami, I guess that's how you say it. I may be wrong, but we pulled this one before, uh, for, but for two energies, evil cards cost one less energy to play. So this is really good, especially if you have like those one energy cost um, uh, evos, and you're using Aquas. This is this will work really good with that. Like I use my Hyper Dragonoid. Uh, he's only one energy, and I have this on the field. Basically, Hyper Dragonoid for free. So which is really cool. So yeah, so he's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put him in the back here. And then we have Elevant Ray. Oh, or El Everent Ray. Oh my gosh, in hex form too. Oh, 
Now, this is actually a really cool card. This is actually one I was wanting to put in the deck, and I will be probably exchanging that one for this. But what he does is for six energies, um, this costs two less energies to play for each card that you've played this turn. So if you play three cards, you basically play this for free. And your Bahu can get 200 B power off of this. That is ridiculous. And it's a super rare too. And it's a hex. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. I am glad I got the hex version of that because that is really nice. Especially getting that one. Oh. I was wanting to get that card too. Like I said. That is. That's awesome. Ooh. We're getting some good stuff in this one. I'm, I'm happy with this one. This this one I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Now. Onto our Dragonoid pack here. Going back to Dragonoid. And throw that to the side there. But, ooh, ooh, we're getting some good pulls. I, I'm liking this. This so far, this is this is really good. Um, I don't know. We, we've already got two Bahugan Elites. So I wonder if we're going to get another one. I don't know. I mean, in this section, anyway. I don't know. Um, but we'll have to see here. Go ahead and get to our next pack here. And we have Block Ventus. Then we have Holt Chaos. Then we have Deafening Roar. Uh, Laser Claw. Holt Outsiders. Uh, Oaken Shield, and then our rare, we have Hypernilius. Oh my goodness, this is like the, probably like the sixth copy of this card that we have. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Um, but for four energies, 900 B power, five damage, turbo if you have the most energy cards, plus two damage, and then plus 200 B power. Like I said, we have like six of these now. This is like the seventh one, I think. I don't know. And our rare is Hyper Hydorus for three energies, 500 B power, 10 damage. Uh, when you play an action card, you just gets 200 B power bonus to it. And our next card is a awesome rare wax. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Um, so this is really cool. For six energies, destroy all enemy evos. Wait, what? For six energies, you can destroy all your enemy evo cards. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely ridiculous. For six energies, now that is a good card. If you're playing in Chaos deck and your opponent has a lot of uh, Evo cards, this might be a good card. It might be a good one of, but still a good card nonetheless. I think this is going to be really good. We're going to ahead and put that one in the back. And our next card is a Titan Dragonoid uh, in a Hex form. Of course, this is a rare. Um, I think we just pulled a... Um, did we just pull this one before? Yeah, we did. So we just pulled this. So now we got the Hex version of this card. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put that one in the back there. And then our last one, our Nilius pack here. Maybe we can get something good with this Nilius. I don't know. Um, Nilius always seems to be doing some good stuff. Even though he's on the dark side, it doesn't really matter. That's what I like. The dark side of the force. Um, and boom, there we go. Go ahead and open it up. Alrighty. Whew. Here we go. We have Stone Skin. For three energies there. That's not a good that's a pretty good card there. Punishment or punish, I'm sorry. Um for two energies. Uh choose a, a player and discard a card. Okay. It's not too bad for a flip card. Um Ice Barrier. Uh Holt Aquas. I haven't seen that one, so that's a cool one. We finally got that one for Chaos. We have Holt Darkest. So there's that one. Um so we got the Darkest and Aquas one. Then we have Isolation. Uh then we have um for our rare, we have uh Masito Kazumi. Um, for one energy, if you have played two or more cards this turn, uh, your next attack has a plus two damage. Um, so for one energy, it's not terrible. Um, it's not a bad card, um, but uh, you know, hey, it, it's an interesting one. Um, so that's our rare. Our next rare is Umbral Slash uh, for two energies, plus one energy power for each flip card in your discard pile. And then our next card is a super rare Hyper Trox. Um, I think we already have one of these, but this is cool to get another one here, especially if I have uh, two cards of him. But for three energies, 900 B power, uh, two damage. Um, of course, you have to evolve them off of the darkest trucks. And when you play this card, choose a player to discard a card. So that's not too bad there. And our next card is a rare Whirlpool. Uh, for three energies, you get uh, plus three damage. Flow, if you played another card this turn, plus three Frost. Ooh, so that's going to add three energies off of two, onto your uh, opponent's bo uh, flip cards. So instead of a, a three energy cost card, is now six energies they have to pay for it. That's that's actually really good there. That's actually a really cool card, especially for three energies. That's actually really cool. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. So those are our packs here. So let's go ahead and give you guys a recap here of all the cards we have pulled. Um, let's go ahead and do that here. 
and I'll put that one there and that one in the back. Perfect. All right. So we have our hex cards here first. We have Titan Dragonoid. Our next one, we have Whirlpool. Uh, Everent Ray. This is a guard I like quite a bit. Um, Cease Outsiders. Um, then we have Marco. Hyper Pegatrix. On Super Rare, we have a Hyper Trox. A Awesome Rare, we have a Wax. Another Awesome Rare, we have Shun Kazami. Um, then we have a Super Rare, Cyndia Stand. Another Super Rare, Curran. And a Bahugan Elite, Maximus Hydorus Ultra. That is really cool. We got some really cool cards here, I have to say. I, I personally say we pulled some really good cards here um, in this pack. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button down below. Uh, and if you're new, click that subscribe button and become a cousin in our family. And stay tuned for part three of this unboxing here. We're going to unboxing the next six packs. And then we'll be doing part four as well after that. So yeah. So remember, Ohana means family. And family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. And I will see you next time. Bye.